Now your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Kyle Keel. We're going to start the day with a mix of some clouds in sunshine, but we will see a little bit more cloud cover here as we head into the afternoon. We're going to watch some activity out in portions of Western Iowa. You can see a couple of blips showing up here on Future Track. The issue here in eastern Iowa, which really is not much of an issue for us, is going to be a lot of dry air. So as the temperatures do warm up, that humidity level is going to drop. So not much more than uh, cloud cover here in eastern Iowa this afternoon. Maybe a couple of isolated sprinkles. But again, the air is just going to be too dry. In fact, it's going to be dry enough to where we have some elevated fire concerns, brush fire concerns in northern Iowa. So if you can kind of hold off on the outdoor burning, that'd probably be a good idea here this afternoon. As we head into the evening, we will see a mostly cloudy sky, but by 10 o'clock, our northern counties will start to clear the sky out and we'll push those clouds to the south as the rain stays to the south tonight. As we head into tomorrow, after that period of clearing tonight, we'll see yet more cloud cover and that's going to lead to a mostly cloudy sky in the morning. By the afternoon, we should see plenty more sunshine and temperatures will be back in the upper 70s. That's exactly where we'll be for most of the viewing area today, at least middle to upper 70s. We'll have some lower 70s as the farther north and northeast you live. Those northwest winds will be 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, we'll have a partly cloudy sky. Overnight lows will drop to the upper 40s to near 50 degrees, so it's going to be a pretty mild night, pretty seasonable as well, with that normal low being right around 44 degrees. For tomorrow, we'll start the day with some cloud cover and then it does become mostly sunny, so we'll kind of even it out and call it partly cloudy. Temperatures will be in the lower 70s to upper 70s across the viewing area. Once again, we'll see those winds out of the west-northwest wind at uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour, so that could lead to another elevated fire risk. We'll jump ahead to Monday morning. Here we are at 9 o'clock. Everyone's going to start off dry with a partly cloudy to mostly cloudy sky. We're going to have our next system move in from the west and northwest, and that will bring the slight chance for a couple showers here Monday afternoon and into the evening hours. The better chance for rain, at least widespread rain, is going to come here Monday night into very early Tuesday morning. There's your city by city forecast highlighting that slight chance for a couple showers here on Monday. That system is going to draw in some cooler air, so temperatures will be much cooler on Monday with highs in the lower to middle 60s. And that's just kind of the start of a kind of a cooling trend here for next week. Tuesday, there is a slight chance for a couple showers with breezy conditions, but temperatures are going to average in the lower to middle 60s here next week as the average high next week approaches 70 degrees.